Welcome to my welcome to my first take two. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my first. That's terrible. <laughs> okay. Hey, welcome to my first voiceover video. I feel so professional. It's going to be good. It's going to be a good one. The magic of Dave. So, the look that I do in this video is a purple with a, a bit of violet kind of look. I don't know, magenta-ish. Anyway, you'll see. That's me. I'm putting. I'm singing along to a Jason Mraz song um, throughout the whole video. And I'm p just priming my eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance primer, which I'm trying to use up. Audio turns out good here. It's the first time I'm recording audio. Pretty exciting. Feel like I said, it, it feels pretty professional. Yeah. So oh, there I'm singing along. Looks like I'm talking to myself. As usual. Okay, so this color is Cherish. It's a cream shadow. It's by Suds and Sass. And I'm just using a sample there that I have. I like this color, it's a nice matte, sort of a kind of a pinky purple base, but real light, neutral. I, I quite like this cream shadow. Although, if you don't blend it well, it can make you look like you have pink eye. So try to be very careful not to get it too much on the side so it like goes below. So right there I'm putting on the color Pink Magnolia. It's by Earth Angels Minerals. And for some reason I cannot fight the temptation to pat it on and then also blend it, even though it's not a good blending brush. That brush, I don't know what brand it is, it just says smudge on it. I got it a long time ago. Um, but it's a good one. A flat patting on brush. I don't know why I keep trying to blend with it. It's not the best for blending. So I'm just putting that all over my eyelid. It's a nice neutral. It's just a little bit darker than the base shadow, and it's just kind of setting that cream in there. And then I'm just blending out the edge with my new Dium Tools brush. It's one of the blenders. I think it's a 776. I just got that today when I filmed this, and I was really excited to use it. So then the camera cut out because it died, because I didn't charge it. And what I did in the break there was I put some Breezia Manor. It's a, a nice purpley color. I put that on the outer corner of my eye, and I put on this Black Radiance eyeshadow, or sorry, mascara. I can't remember what it's called, but it has pretty good ingredients. I'll link up down below. And Black Radiance is affiliated with Wet n Wild, so they're cruelty free. That is the Pumpkin and Poppy contour in Oak Park. It's a nice, cool, taupe-colored contour. Just putting that under my cheekbones, and on my temple, and then do a little bit under my jaw as well. And the brush I'm using there is just an e.l.f. small stipple brush. I have a couple of those. I quite like them. They're very good for putting on contour, and also, I think, cream blushes they work well with. Speaking of cream brush, that's the one I'm using in this video, and I kind of spent a long time on it, so I sped it up. But that one is Peachy Rose, and then I, and it's a cream blush, and then I just put a little bit of Tequila Sunrise powder on top of it, and then I just blend it out with my um, 
Studio M brush, and I don't know what brand that is, it's just some random off brand. It looks like a Bedellium Tools, or I mean, a, it looks like an Eco Tools, but it's not. Anyway, that is the the Inner Glow Powder from Pumpkin and Poppy, it's called Celestial. It's, it's really nice, I think it just gives you a really nice peachy glow to your face. I really like that quite a lot. Totally recommend it if you're pale, I don't know what it will look like if you have darker skin, but it might show up nicely there too. It might work well as a highlighter. I'm just bopping along to my cheese and ass. That is the new Elf lip liner I got. It's from their mineral, mineral line. It has pretty good ingredients. It's called Peachy. And it kind of goes well with, with the eyeshadow color, I think. These eyeshadow colors. So I, I was listening to this Jason Mraz song because I was really excited. He's coming out with a new album, and it's a collaboration with a girl band called Raining Jane. So it's J Raining Jane and Jason, or Jason and Jane, or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, the album's called Yes. Because they're like, we hope when you listen to it, you'll just go, yes. So that is the Pacific Lip Gloss in the color Opal. I'm just putting that on top of it. It's really nice nude, kind of shiny color. So I was listening to sleep all day. Which I definitely would like to. And then I'm highlighting my brow bone there with the white color from the Nude Tude palette by the Bomb. Um, I'm trying to use that up. And that color is actually called Sassy. Sassy. It has a little bit of spark to it. But it's a good powder highlight. Because when you try to use like milk or something, it's so like wide that it's hard to get a really small line of it, so I try to use just a powder. That's my brow powder. It's Silk Naturals. It's called Golden Blonde. It is not golden at all. I don't find my hair is kind of more of an ash dark blonde color, but it matches perfectly. I just like real light eyebrows, so I don't add a whole lot there. I just darken them up a little bit because they're just, they're not really sparse. They're just really pale and light, really light blonde, so I just define them a little bit more. I think it looks real natural, and that's what I like. I really don't like them overdone. I feel, I feel like I look weird, like Groucho Marx or something, with the crazy brows. And so that uh, is a Everyday Minerals little brush that I'm using there, and I use that in combination with a spoolie from Sony Kashuk that I think was like $2.99. So together, they're like a double-ended Anastasia uh, brush, you know, except that that one's like 20 bucks, so. Um, this works just as well, and it's cheap. I encourage you to find substitutes for ridiculously overpriced things. Okay, so that's the finished look. There you go. I looked down a little bit too far here, so I don't really see it that great, but then, there you go. Yeah, I think it turned out nicely. Then, magically, voila! Done! Bangs, bam, headband, hair down, dreadlock. Yeah, it's coming along nicely. It's about three, four months old now, three months. I don't know. Peace. Alright, I hope you like that. Talk to you later. Come up to you and they'll be like, <laughs> and then they'll like, breathe out on you really hard, so I'll do it to him. I'll just be like. <laughs> he likes it. He's like, are you dog, dogging me? Oh. See, that's Koopy. Say hello. Tubers. Cruelty free. I'm natural.